<laughs> yeah, so this is Monster Heart. This is the real finale. It's happening for sure this time because I'm not doing it again. I love you guys, but <laughs> we can't keep doing this. Wait a second. They're <laughs> like, I don't want to see your faces anymore. We can't go on. This <laughs> after, after four straight days of me and Amanda, you don't want to keep playing? Because I thought you were going to invite us to Star Wars tomorrow. <laughs> Kathy would murder me because she'd have to change the layout. <laughs> that feels like a not me problem. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, well, you're the one who gets to walk away from it. Yeah, you're, right. you're fine. Yeah. Totally fine. Yeah, okay. Aaron, do you want to do the recap from last time since you just got done oh. editing that like two days ago? Last time on Monster Hearts. <laughs> uh, Previously. Previously. We, yeah. We went down into a creepy basement and immediately fell un unconscious. Mm. We ended up oh, in some cells with some cryptids, but not each other. Pikmin busted his hand trying to get out. Bit Millie more. broke her nose. Trying which, to get out. Trying to get out. Luckily, Rena, right? You met the, no, or was it Thea? No, no Thea, Thea met did. the Thea, you're right. blob. Yeah. And he was able to get everybody out of their their cages. When we escaped, we were briefly distracted by trying to rescue a mer person, which went really well. So, we're so good at rescuing, <laughs> but we There's were alive, able to stop them from suffocating. So yeah, they're they okay for now. <laughs> <laughs> then we went into a computery room. And someone else came in and was ominous and said, you can't stop me. It's too late. Everything is yes, already well. in motion. I've already created the perfect monster. And at some point, Latterick and Pikmin rushed him. Oh, and he revealed himself to be Keith Richards. <laughs> we'll be Keith. <laughs> so close. You was the yes. funniest thing is Richard I did not realize. Simmons, okay. right? I didn't realize that son was son by that person when I sent that link. Um, that's why. That's why I was like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know. I immediately me. realized. I was like, oh my god. But Toby, Keith. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And all and all our Canadian fans and cast members and people under thirty went. We love Toby Keith. We know who that is. Yeah. Toby Keith is Canadian. No. No, no, that's oh. why. That's the joke, That's the joke. Right? That's the joke. Hey, hey, to be fair, there are country singers who are Canadian, and it confuses me a lot. There's a few, a few. Yeah. So Probably. after that, during during that <laughs> kind of commotion, Millie sneaks out because she's short, she and <laughs> and grabs Bob, who is a blob, blob Bob, and says, "Hey, come with me. We're gonna go." hex the perfect monster and we go to sub basement two or something like that i think it was just the sub basement <laughs> <laughs> as i go down cracker jack dolly's dog is loose and playing fetch with dolly who came oh i also called dolly by staring into the void at some point but millie says oh you came and was close to close to tears because she is a little bit just a tiny bit overwhelmed and insecure and, and grandma no one's came ever come to her for Millie before no one had ever come for millie before and that not is even where... parker multiple times <laughs> oh sorry buddy <laughs> <laughs> well, people can fake it real well yeah. <laughs> oh. oh i mean if you're okay. not into it it's fine some people just don't want to have that sort of intimacy if you don't know what's supposed to happen, you can kind of pretend anything is the thing that's happening. Okay, that is not what I meant, but it's fine. This is no, when my hard. antlers go like this, that means it worked. Good job. Hey, we, we had this conversation. We have to make our games more horny. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That's been the problem. Not horny enough. Obviously. Yep. Well, not, not Monster Hearts. That's... that's oh. <laughs> okay. our games that we're making so oh yes. gotcha gotcha i'm just doing this, this for science science yeah. science yeah <laughs> anyway no one has ever risked themselves when millie called shown up i think plenty of people have come for millie <laughs> Ooh, yeah probably including pikmin so shut it
<laughs> four around on you know whatever you know just they're all you know <laughs> also hopefully arena <laughs> at some point yeah i mean we were in like, yeah. a whole relationship but that's fine no mm -hmm. problem was it a whole oh, yeah. relationship Sorry. though or was it <laughs> we, like we had like a solid a month. month yeah was it a I mean, whole relationship though, or was it like half a relationship? And you guys don't get to decide this for them. They're saying yeah. it's a relationship. When you're 19, you enough. can squeeze in a lot of your question. Yeah. You're not yeah. asking yeah. your like, question. A month is a long time as a freshman in college. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry, Aaron. Yeah. No, I think that's where we left off. Yeah, I think that is where we left off. You and Dolly were rejoining the others back in the computer room. She did want to go to Toby Keith. So that's fine. I am really concerned less with the man who may or may not be houseless. And I said that. He... Okay. There, was a teach there was a teachable moment there. Yeah. 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 I think there, was, uh, there was a teachable right. moment, but she doesn't remember the term. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's Unhoused. No, actually, Toby Keith is sitting on more money than all of us and anyone who's watching this right now. Yeah. Behind, it sure I'm doesn't sure. look yeah. like it. It's all that Millie <laughs> Anyway, <saying>. moving on. <laughs> so is Millie going somewhere else then? Because Dolly would be trying to like take all of you there. Yeah, no, I'll go. I'll follow. But if I happen to see someplace where I see a perfect monster... I'll break off. And I really go. hope there's like a label maker label. Oh, on oh it I'm right says, here. Yeah, yeah. Who says it's only the second version? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, you, you're gonna you're gonna label the perfect monster? No, well, yeah. I'm assuming that it's already labeled. That's how Millie's it's gonna find Gen it. Gen Z's just I'm labeling things all over the place, aren't they? <laughs> With these young people today. <laughs> What? I don't this grumpy it. old man nonsense. Yeah, he's just old man yelling at the sky right now. <laughs> but anyway, so as Dolly teleports you back to the computer room, Millie, along with Cracker Jack and Bob, do you see that Toby Keith is still standing there, looming ominously, and just monologuing at length to the rest of the cohort, I guess, is a good term for your group. Because I don't know that you're all friends at this point. <laughs> it's very questionable for some of you, especially. We all have a similar goal. Acquaintance. <laughs> so you teleport back in, uh, interrupting Toby Keith, who is pretty put out by this and the appearance of Dolly. And Dolly is going to immediately try to engage him in a magic battle, because obviously, why would the BBEG not have magic powers? Like... Is it a singing battle? Maybe. <laughs> Is it a bar I, was, off? I just want to know if you're going to sing, Rick. <laughs> oh, I am most definitely not. <laughs> okay, I need you to sing Man, both parts of this battle. We are I need, the audience. I, I need Ready, Toby go. and Dolly. We will, we will have negative viewers a musical at that point. villain and... <laughs> A I really want this to be kind of a, to find yeah. It. A devil went down the Georgia scenario here. We <laughs> came here to listen. To this so as these two powerful sorcerers begin to engage in this magical battle, it is very apparent that there's not much you can do to help them, but also doors open in several places around the room, and in flood, burnout clones. And other cryptids. Time to rise up, siblings. Mm, I don't know that that's what they are there for. The burnout clones um, all seem to have like cattle prods and okay. chains that are linked to these cryptids. Oh, and the, the, so the, the, they've got the, the cryptids on leashes. Mm -hmm. Kinky. All right. I don't know that it was okay. consensual. Well. <laughs> for being, don't, for being hey, I, I don't know. We're, we're playing Monster Hearts. You know. This. Um, I I want to wolf out and then use heightened senses. Okay. To see what is the biggest threat to me immediately. Like, it depends how well I roll, how many questions I can ask. So. Okay. Do I remember how to do this game. Nope, I ain't gonna do anything. It's fine. What'd you, what'd you get? A six. Okay, yeah. Toby Keith is a pretty big threat. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, that's true. Good call. <laughs> Fair enough. You're welcome to point out the obvious. Hey. Since you, know, you rolled so well. Uh, I know. And as you're all preparing for what you're going to do, you see that during these 
this magical battle, Toby Keith begins to shift form and no longer looks like this country singer. Briefly, does look like Keith Richards for a moment. You're welcome. Because why not? Yeah, yeah. Now it's now it's real. Now you didn't just make that up. Okay, and then there you go. <laughs> also, looks like for a, a few moments, a CEO of some kind of like shitty electric vehicle company and several <gasps> other companies, allegedly at one point the richest man in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Just but seems to shift through several very, very infamous forms of rich and powerful people. Is he trying to physically harm Dolly? He's trying, but can't. Right, because he's bound. Mm hmm Yeah. By my hex. And not in a kinky way, Jason. I mean, yep, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> I mean, God. <laughs> Get it together, Jason. I know, I'm the worst. Millie could be great with knots. You don't know. <laughs> Very she naughty. Took, I like Davina Davina probably does healthy. know. <laughs> <laughs> you can also see that there is a large window that it seems like it, it retracts. So you can see now the city below you. And you can see this large lumbering figure outside. And no, you said we, we can see the city below us. Mm -hmm. Even though we were underground when we went down underneath. You were. Oh, then we got knocked out and we woke up in a weird place. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, floating floating yep. citadel, got it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery, who knows? Yeah, so this creature initially just looks like a dark silhouette, uh, like lumbering and misshapen. But as it moves further and you get a better view of it, it appears to be made of some sort of like golden material. And almost looks like it has scales. How far away is it? Probably several hundred feet. And it is like on the other side of this window. And there's no monster. way to get toward it. Not currently. But okay. it's it looks big and lumbering from even that far away. Uh -huh. Okay. So this thing is huge. All right. Yeah. Think like kaiju. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah because it is so massive as you know everyone is kind of in that tense moment it's you know the slow motion of what are we going to do everybody's reactions you see it looks like it's made of gold coins potentially it's a big monster made out of a stack of gold coins yeah interesting but the doors open so it's like the stape of gold coin man yeah absolutely. you got it that's you know, it out. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly. Yes. Those, those chocolate coins. <laughs> chocolate coins. Okay. So this ultimate monster is supposed to be like a combination of all the worst monsters out there, right? And capitalism is the worst I mean, monster of all. So I don't know about the worst that. monsters, but it's like the, the most powerful monster. monster. Right. Right. Yeah. I okay, I yeah. think and that you have that capitalism is the monster. Money. However, so doors have opened. We can mm -hmm. see it out a window. Mm hmm. Can I try to open the window or break the window? Uh, you can certainly try, but again, these clones and cryptids and also the sorcerer battle are in between you. Okay. The this room is much larger than I imagined. Does anybody have anything heavy on them or near them? Or can I see anything that's heavy near me? Parker's just like, hey, what, what, are you, what are you planning? What are we doing? I need you to fly me out the window. Oh, I can do that. And they grab your hand and in just a black poof, you disappear. Oh, okay, cool. Has Parker been able to do that the whole time? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. When we started did this- Did they really did just fuck right it. off? I mean, did they- <laughs> I didn't have the skin just, for, for I, the moth person. Uh, but I'm not uh, really sure what to do here. Let's eat some of these clones, but- I guess. Did they really just fly the fuck away? Did that? <laughs> well, okay. So I think Millie is maybe Good. trying to solve the bigger problem. But... Well, they could have let us know. Or yeah, the communication is key. Yeah. On this motion. Yeah, yes, yeah. Millie's oh. always been so great at communicating. Yeah. Okay. Well, Leverick, are you I thought we had poof? a growth. Oh, uh, hold on. Um, Amanda, no, what no. were you saying? I said, Ledrick, are you able to poof people um, somewhere? But... 
You can uh, do it. Right? No. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> can't turn into bats. We've can't already established we've got, our weak no, ass no vampire, miss, no, okay? No bats. <laughs> This is a very lame version of a vampire. Yeah. I mean, for all we know, <laughs> turned in their twenties. What a shame! Yeah, for all we know, Ladder could be like lying about being super old. He could be like a fairly new vampire. He's for like all 72. we know, seventy-two. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so like a baby vampire, basically. Yeah, he looks like he's twenty, but he's like <laughs> mid forties, give or take. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he has to come into his abilities. Yeah, mm. like he's actually just a boomer. All right. That's yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> don't, the biggest monster don't say this on a ladder. <laughs> second, second. How dare you be smart? You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, we all know capitalism is the biggest. So you know, you're right. You're boomers right. are obviously not here. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't think my usual uh, tactics of attack are going to be very effective on a joint coin monster. Um, usually it's bite, and uh, despite. Uh, Biting to test a gold coin, it, it's not really going to do any damage. Yeah, fair, fair. It fair. will damage my teeth. <laughs> it's not a fan of that. You might possibly need those to like feed or something. Well, do like, you think I? Well, do those, wait, if do I those could ever back, get a chance, if you, know. you break them, do they grow back? It depends on which vampire movie you're watching. I haven't tested it. I, okay. I you know, you really can only do that once. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not a great mm. test subject. Yeah. All right. In the meantime, yeah. Rena's gonna like reach over to the nearest clone that came in and try to take them out. Okay. I will remind you, not yeah. saying this is like what you should or have to do. There is still the door that you came in, like basically right behind you if you wanted to run. Oh. Hey, you guys think we should run? Uh, I mean, there's like a sorcerer battle and like <laughs> a lot of bad guys, and there's three of us. I think that we should try and help the, the people that are apparently flooding the hallways. The other cryptids. They're like, can, they're like on leashes, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're like contained. So maybe we could attack the clones. Yeah. Okay. So we need said. to take out all these yeah. clones. Okay. Yeah. You were. Okay. So there's five time. of us <laughs> and there's one, two, three, 157 of them. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how many. Weirdly, weirdly, two of you seem to have disappeared in all of the commotion. <sighs> They okay, so there's fucking flew away too. Three Typical. of us. All right. So Pikmin, you take the left side. Yeah. <laughs> and Ladrick, you take the right side. And Reno but there are. Right down the middle. But there are still five of you because you have Bob the Blob and Pigman. Oh, Pigman. Well, we're good then. All right. <laughs> Just let Pikmin and Pigman go to town. Go to town. Yeah, they're good. They got it. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Before we resolve that, Millie, where? were you wanting to go specifically i want to just go at the coin dragon there like on its back or like in front i would of like or... i would like so i would say say to parker if you could just get me kind of close just within maybe 10 feet of it and i'm gonna just hex it but just like stay safe yourself and if you need to drop me you can't oh, i would never drop you like I care about you and stuff i mean yeah, I, I like, okay. like you and shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like my person or whatever. I'm just saying, should there be a time when I'm not helping, you might want to drop me. Anyway, but yeah, just get me close. I'm yeah, I'm not gonna do that, but yeah, I. And so we'll we'll retroactively say that was like the conversation you had as the burnout calls mm -hmm. come in. Because one of, now that I have the moth person skin, one of their abilities is that they can join any scene with a luminous creature. And there's not much more luminous than a shiny gold creature. Amazing. I can just the, bring a few towards the gold. Got it. Mm -hmm, um, that, as we approach, I would like to roll dark. And I would well, like there's, to... there's no approach. Oh, you you're just there. Like right in between its eyes. Okay. What what Can range are you in for this attack? This would spit absolutely spit range. Be, yeah. Oh, you're in spit and range. Okay, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> but can I roll for dark to, yeah. to hex this guy? Okay. Absolutely. Lose an item, not a harm. Okay, so I got two sixes. Thanks, thanks, uh, desired effect dice. Whoop, whoop. Um, so that is a fourteen to nice. find this dragon. I toss, I toss Rena's chapstick. Just in case, I, I forgot. I do have, in fact, three tokens. So, wow. 
just losing all the strings after being the master of strings. Yep. So our months <laughs> together just meant nothing to you. Okay. Just yeah, you, you feel like a pang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Honestly, that's part I, of my sex I'm, move. So I'm I feel like that's like the end of my connection to you, like dying. Well, yeah, you already did say right in front of her that you were over her because when she was insecure, you made fun of her. That's fair. <laughs> that's very fair. Karina is, uh, doesn't doesn't take breakups very well. So. <laughs> Healthy relationships. Yep, Marina's real good at it. Of nineteen-year-olds, there oh, yeah. are so many of those. So but, many. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you prevent it from doing damage, doing harm, doing, harm. doing physical harm to anyone. Okay. I mean, it can still do emotional and psychological harm. So you know, sure. That's something. <laughs> and if this was babies, then I would be worried about it. But I'm not as worried right. about it in Monster Heart. <laughs> so. Tell me what that looks like for you. Like, what do you do and what happens visually? Like, what would Parker see in this moment? Okay, so Parker would see probably my eyes, like, do a little flashy, little thaumaturgy-esque little flash. And I say some words and I throw the chapstick with it so that I'm not throwing my my death. Amazing. Yeah, I feel like the chapstick just kind of bounces off of, you know, the little space between its eyes. I'm sure there's a name for it. I just don't know it. And it seemingly doesn't really do anything for a second, other than the creature stops moving. It just kind of stands still and then, like, looks back and forth. And from atop its head, it's a little bit hard to tell, but you don't see, like, a tail or anything like that. It almost looks like it is a blob. Oh, because it's all part of all of us. And that's the that's the Bob part. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Are you that was guys not talking even like, about? You know, a coin blob. Like Bob. Blob. Like Bob. Yeah, Bob the Bob. Blob. Your friend. Obviously. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Bob is everyone's friend, okay? Bob is sure. definitely Millie's friend. Yeah. Bob, Maybe not Bob, Toby Keith. Bob, Bob, Bob. Yeah. I okay. almost made that joke last time. <laughs> yeah. So Yeah. Do be like that. So we will we will come back to you in a moment and we'll cut back to our control room. What are the rest of you doing? Laderick and I have managed to just destroy all of the <laughs> the the clones while Rita wow. took out any okay. nasty cryptids. And we That's have nice. now constructed a number of sex swings yeah. and are celebrating our victory. A variety of heights. Beautiful. And With that beautiful. Was literally it's exactly different what heights happened. And different, yeah, I mean, it, yes. It's like a, I just, it's less of a sex swing and more like a sex like, gymnasium. Like, yes. Yeah. Oh my it's, goodness. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. A sex <laughs> It's a sex nasium. You know, yeah. like yeah. you do. You got it. You yeah. got it. Yeah. <laughs> they know. Oh, right? man. So uh, you can just go back to Millie. We're good. Don't worry about it. Right, right. Also, you guys walk in and. I love the idea that this is all going through Pikmin's head like that's what he's imagining <laughs> while you're preparing is, to fight. This is his right. plan. It's, okay, we're... <laughs> it's, it's a, when we get back, I'm going to get in there. Plan, okay? Ready? Go. <laughs> figure out how you have sex with a mermaid. All right, let's go. Plan ready. Step three, the real profit. Question. <laughs> I mean, besides the obvious. But... Right. <laughs> So what are we doing? How how are you uh, resolving this? We're just going to attack whoever is nearest to her. Yeah, I mean, I guess clone. we're just going to tooth yeah. and claw, literally. Just yeah, where's like literally like three melees? Like, like let's mm -hmm. just I brawl. don't really have like melee abilities. You have teeth. Uh, that counts. This is monster hearts, so I have yeah. things like my sex move. Um, <laughs> I don't really feel like using that on the clones. There are cryptids. So, I'm going to look for. Hmm. Is it? Is there a way to investigate whether or not there these clones have some sort of like hive mind that we could knock out? So far, you've seen that they kind of act somewhat independently. So it's it's hard to say whether that is because they truly have independent thought or not. It does seem like they've known what has happened for the most part, whether that person was murdered or disappeared or not. So it's very possible. 
And even though I'm just looking for a way to like, massively just dis- like yeah. shut down the, these clones from yeah. taking the cryptid. So can we get that it... answer from Gaze into the Abyss? Ooh. Sure. You Ooh. can you can throw some gaze in. Sure. <laughs> we like to throw some Is gaze. Is that a, a dark, right? <laughs> yep. There's never yeah, enough gaze. <laughs> yeah. We need more gaze in the abyss. That's right. Obviously. Well, I'm not very good at dark, but I'm <laughs> you're a freaking vampire. How are you not good at dark? I'm just very hot, okay? <laughs> you know what's weird? That's how Rena rolled up to That's you. all I <laughs> do, okay? I'm going to live forever and fuck forever, okay? Leverick's job and is to I... fuck. <laughs> yeah. That's Leverick's job what is I'm just... here for. That's it. <laughs> and I, I was rolled... told there would be fucking and <laughs> monsters. This is the worst not road trip though. ever. I rolled a nine. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's pretty uh, good, Rena, right? were you also rolling? Yeah, I'll roll. Okay. I'll, uh, I only asked because you you mentioned it, so I didn't want to. Oh, I was just I looking at the sheet of like, like skills, the rando sheet of skills. <laughs> uh, no, nope. Oh, I got man. two ones, so. Oh my god! I don't know why I roll dice. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, are you usually, usually work out with dice? Me? Like, no. I'm switching to metal we've, dice now. We've we've talked about this. <laughs> right. I only have one set of my own dice with me right here, and I don't want to like go all the way over to my desk. So that that's a lot to ask. So I get far it. away. I get it. Yeah. So you're looking, Lederick, for like some kind of connection between. Yeah, I want to shut down the board cube <laughs> and uh, get these people free. That's okay. what I'm looking for. Yeah, it does seem like. There's a ominous energy coming from one of the computer panels close to where the sorcerer battle is going on. But it's very possible, you know, if you could somehow, like, get over there, that you would be able to possibly switch it off. Okay. Who's the strongest? Probably, yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. I can't turn into a bat, so somebody has to, like, help me over there. <laughs> I will throw you on my back and then just go. Okay. It could also be, like, a arena Pikmin Pigman, like, catapult. Like, a three, three person. Nice. <laughs> Again, you know, just do, like, the, the cheerleader thing and, like, boost. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll boost you. That's fine. Let's yeah, the, that. Give me a boost. <laughs> sure. The three of us will triple up on ladder. No problem. Yeah, no problem at all. We're good. Lederick <laughs> Surprisingly, not... not a problem. Right. <laughs> Lederick's like, yes, this is what I signed up for. <laughs> we'll give him all sorts of boosts. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Literally yeah. Lederick has not, has not banged anybody canonically in this yet that I can remember, but three at once. Chased. So it's going to get those numbers up. Okay. Yeah, saving the best for last. <laughs> okay, Just... what did everyone roll? I rolled for big part. What are we, uh, are we rolling for? What's happening? <laughs> Uh, what, to to I, to take today. you to Pound Town, apparently. Yeah, yes. let's, uh... we have to roll with volatile. You what? Can, you can, <laughs> if you can argue it, I would let you roll with whatever. But Texas, would be my... <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, we, if, if we're if we're tossing the vampire. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so am I basked in moonlight right now? <laughs> I'm gonna be angry that a, about it. Is that a monster <laughs> sex move? Tossing the vampire? Yeah. Like, yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anymore. Am I am I bathed in moonlight right now? No. There's okay. a window. Is there not? Oh, it's, the window it's, points it's, down. What? It it's not. No time. moonlight. And there's then, no currently. Then I will roll as volatile. Okay. Are are we tossing him from the window to the walls? Mm-hmm. Actually from the wall to the window, but yeah. You could do that later. Okay. <laughs> I got a total of seven. Okay. That's could be worse. It could. That's also what I got, so. Not much. It's really weird life. because that's literally what Pigman got. Oh, <laughs> nice. <Right. laughs> Triple seven. That's lucky. Uh, uh, that's it very is. lucky. That's yeah. a huge and cash out of not. Vegas. And yeah. even though that is not how the Monster Hearts rules work, I'm a third <laughs> master and I say that it's pretty cool that we all got sevens. No. I think so too. All right. So lucky my seven. thing is that totals up to 21, which is more than the 12 that was collected. Mm. So. Hey. There you yeah. go. So, so we hmm. toss ladder, Ladderick, but none of us cop a feel, and that's why it was so low. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Yeah, it was. It was disappointing for everyone. Yeah. Light. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so Ladderick, you have made your way over, flying through the air very gracefully, I imagine. 
That's just right onto the computer style. you want it to be on. <laughs> <laughs> just like put your cloak out like a. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, and lands on my two feet. And... Yeah, <laughs> even though Blah. you're indoors. Yeah, exactly <laughs> like that. Yeah, He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of a breeze. Of course, of course. <laughs> We're doing so good, guys. Oh, no man. serious vampires. <laughs> no, nope. not even once. So yeah, you make your way over there, flying through the air, and are able to. It's just like a, an easy button that you can smash, and immediately these clones just look lost. Even more lost than they normally do. They always look a little confused. You said it's a, like a computer interface? Yeah. Is there some kind of maybe some kind of like voice control? Mm, maybe. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> there is a voice yeah. control because I would like to use my hypnotic ability to try and ask the clone hive mind Ooh. to help us get these cryptids out of here. I like that. You know what? I'm going to say when you smash the button, you do see there's like a little monitor there next to it. And you see like a brain in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, is it the original cl like the, what all the clones came from? Oh mm -hmm. gosh. What'd we say it was? I don't remember. Burnout. <laughs> I'm going to tap into the microphone of th this little brain mm -hmm. that's controlling all these clones, apparently, and try to use my hypnosis skill of this is your moment. You, the white knight in shining armor, you can save all of these, all of your friends, all the cryptids. You will be the bravest man, and you can save all of them. It's your time. Whatever their name is. What That's do a, I have to roll? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> All right. It says, okay. Uh, roll with hot. Of course. Um, so. uh, 10 or higher. They have no idea anything is wrong. 7 through 9. Uh, choose one and we'll get to that. If... Okay. Um, so I got 6 and a 5. Holy shit. Nice. So that is a 13 total. Ooh, lucky 13 and 777. <laughs> I'm doing good. Hitting all, the, <laughs> hitting all the good numbers. Yeah, so uh, the, the brain in the jar doesn't even know that you have hypnotized it. Perfect. What were the three options? So that is if I got a 7 through 9, it's less than perfect. But if I roll a 10 or higher, it says, yeah, they they perform the task perfectly and they have no idea anything is wrong. Gotcha. Sometimes uh, 7 they're, through they're 9, like it's they're aware or they fuck up the command or their sanity is unhinged. Oh. I don't really know what that means. I see. Yeah. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Especially for burnouts, like I think they're already a little questionable. Yeah. To be <laughs> yeah. When you make a copy of a copy, I just of a need copy them to smash some manacles. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you copy enough, like it's it's a little askew. Right. Never quite quite works right. Yeah. Break those chains that bind you. I don't know how Pikmin knows that song, but yeah, that works. <laughs> you don't know Pikmin's uh, life. That's true. That's true. He's at a lot of record stores. A lot of record stores. Yeah. <laughs> what does deal. that mean? <laughs> Whatever you want it to mean. So afraid right now. Those of you who are still in the room can see that these burnout clones, they like stopped and were just kind of like looking around puzzled. And then for seemingly no apparent reason other than that Ladrick went over and messed with some buttons and dials and probably looked really hot, like especially hot for a moment, like you do. Like a sexy hacker dude? Like, mm, oh God. yeah. Look at I'm him in. work that yeah. keyboard. Yeah. 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 Can't you tell? <laughs> he, he looks but like does Morpheus from the Matrix. <laughs> oh. Man. Pikmin is such a such a hipster. <laughs> Just Where'd the he get those tiny sunglasses. <laughs> also, he doesn't need them the to block sun. the sun. <laughs> <laughs> but like, 
They don't even have rims. They just kind of rest on your nose. Like, <laughs> that can't do any good. <laughs> so you, you see that after their puzzlement and Ladder looking very hot, that suddenly they begin to free these cryptids. And they instruct them. They're still not good people. So, you know, they're... If any of the cryptids are hesitant, they're still going to like maybe prod them a little bit. But they all begin to attack used to be Toby Keith. Fake Toby yes. Keith. No, we'll keep it up. Great reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well done, Get them right. clones. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we were going to come back to Millie. So... What are you doing at this point now that you have at least stopped the physical destruction that it so was it, it stopped, it's not causing any more chaos? Because I feel like if it was like loose. It is currently just kind of like tilting its head back and forth. And so you and Parker are having to hold on a little bit to not get thrown off. But I wanted to see okay. what you wanted to do before it acts. So I want us to fly a little way away and just, I also want to say to Parker, I don't know if that worked. Do you have any ideas? Uh, not, not really. Like I was just following your plan. Like you're okay. kind of the, you're kind of the plan guy in this relationship. I appreciate that. But I also appreciate you flying me here. It was nice of you. And, I mean, it was mostly teleport, but yeah. Well, um, yeah, I know, it but I so appreciate hard. metaphorically flying. Yeah, I get it. You're not 100 percent sure that they get it. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to kind of back up a little and look at my surroundings. See, where are we? Like, are we in, near Dollywood? Are we somewhere completely different? You're. Still in Tennessee, or at least you think. I mean, I don't know how much Millie's traveled, so I don't know how recognizable. Well, it Millie's would be been. like trees versus no trees in Colorado. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, not no trees, but you get it. It's very Zero sparse. trees in Colorado. <laughs> Everyone knows there's no trees in I haven't in seen to one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh are there people, though, around this golden coin dragon uh, blob? There are, but they have been, like, actively running, screaming since you arrived on the scene. Okay. So I still want to fly back a little way, but not be, at, like, right at its face. Right. And be, and be like, hey, buddy, what's up? And it just kind of grunts. But mm -hmm. it seems to understand you. Hey, so, I mean, you are kind of, like, a part of me and a part of... Parker here and a part of all my friends. So like maybe part of all of us. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe you don't really want to hurt anybody. Or maybe you're more like Pikmin. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hurt anybody. Is there it's... something I can help you with to make you maybe go back to to the facility that you were at and maybe help us take out the the bad guy? And when you start talking about like it being a part of all of these people that it, it probably doesn't really know, at least by name, it just like does that dog head tilt thing. Mm -hmm. You're saying and, that. <laughs> yeah. and you can see it has like eyes. You're not quite sure what they're made out of, but they, they look eye-like. It does have like a very large molten looking toothy maw. Let's see if, but it seems to have almost a animal-like quality to it, since there mm -hmm. were some of the monsters that were more humanoid and some were more animal-like. Yeah. So, it seems like it doesn't. You should have... fuck it like an animal. Well, Damn. except for the part that I was about to say <laughs> is that it seems like it doesn't have the like intelligence of a sentient creature necessarily. Like it has intelligence. That's the it line. Can, yeah, it can fall. I mean, you orders, can't cross that line. Yeah. Oh, it, so you it, just it, it want can. to fuck it like an animal, but you won't <laughs> because it's gotcha. in this yeah. whole screen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I I try and say, 
hey, do you want to come with us? And I like, come on, come on, like a dog. Yeah, it immediately, like, its large gold coin tongue starts lolling out and just, like, starts bounding back. It's like uh, a literal uh, golden destroying. retriever. Yeah, still destroying a lot of houses, but seemingly not killing people. Okay, okay wait, how big wonderful. is this thing? It's enormous. Awesome. Like a kaiju size, yeah. Yeah, like, like Millie and Parker so were ants on its forehead. I don't think oh. Bite's gonna work on this one either. It didn't work with the Weasley little <laughs> wizard villain. I don't... <laughs> yeah, I don't mm. think my claws are gonna help much. <laughs> okay, so Millie is gonna say, hey, Parker, let's head back to the others and maybe this this wonderful, beautiful monster puppy can help us take down Keith Richards. Toby Keith. Yeah. Parker's like, oh, where was that place, do you think? Oh, well, okay. So we saw this from the window. So I kind of look in the direction over our, our shoulders to see where it was. And do I see anything? You don't. Amazing. Every action, though. <laughs> was it like who a knew? screen and not a window? But who knew that this was like the Avengers ship thing, whatever the hell it's called. I can't think of it now. They can turn into uh, the helicarrier. Come on. Um, Avengers ship thing. Thank you. Yeah, that's exactly right. what it's called. <laughs> okay. uh, so if I lead my golden puppy uh -huh. um, to the direction that I think we came from, based on like how I saw what side of it I saw. Right. If I go that way, am I going toward more buildings and junk or am I going there's away buildings from? in every direction so like no matter where you go there's property damage but like okay gotcha people property yeah know. property's the the better option here yeah and Millie thinks capitalism is dumb now so <laughs> or really cute and friendly well, now this capitalism is pretty cute honestly and <laughs> you don't want to Millie... be a hedge fund manager anymore <laughs> totally changing I'm, majors I'm... It might happen. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? So I say, okay, I think that we came from the way I have thought about it. Mm -hmm. And I want to go that way a little bit. And okay. maybe it's cloaking, but it seems really weird that that seems like it would be like somehow invisible to me. Well, maybe that was do. a screen. I don't know. What you could do is you could gaze into the abyss. <laughs> I'll case into the abyss. Thank you. <laughs> I got a seven plus two is a nine. Okay. Yeah. You have a pretty rough idea. And as this giant golden puppy monster is like running tongue, just dragging behind it, uh, little <laughs> coins dropping off and smashing houses. Oh, I was going to say, well, maybe they can use those to... Re exactly. I was going to say, basically, they're like, oh, I destroyed your house, but we left you some form some of gold. currency. Yeah. It's, a, it's a windfall or a coin yeah. fall in this case, but, you know. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So it, it is like running. It doesn't run very fast. It's even though it has kind of the personality of a golden retriever, it's more like a giant dumb St. Bernard. Sure. More lumbering. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Why is uh, that cuter in my mind? Because it is. Okay. <laughs> right. right. Because no thing. Head empty. Right. <laughs> it really does exactly. make kind of that sound. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so you are like going in the direction that you remember vaguely seeing and it stops suddenly as it smacks into something that it couldn't see and the rest of you see that the window crashes in the lumbering form of this golden monster smashes its forehead into the window and so now there's just like this whole air wall. yeah exactly <laughs> how how in the world was the monster in something so small this is very... What are we supposed to do now? Okay, it's one of those like well, monsters he's... where you put it in water and it expands to like 10 times Obviously. the size. Usually it takes a couple days. Don't or, like it after midnight. <laughs> or <Yeah>. like greed. <laughs> okay. I yell because I don't want to... I can't get between him and the window and I say, Hey, he's friendly now! <laughs> uh, just for shits and giggles, roll me volatile 
Just because I want to see like how much you can project your voice here. Okay. Nice. I mean, I have no pluses on volatile, so I got a seven. Okay. I mean, well, it's I... a little hard to hear over the the magic battle and the cryptids beating the shit out of foe Toby Keith, but you do hear a familiar voice yelling something is friendly. Uh. Um, Did Willie say she I, wants to go to Friendly's? You know what? An ice cream sounds restaurants? really good. I mean, right ice cream now. sounds pretty good right now. Ice cream sounds pretty I, good. What's a Friendly's? It's an ice cream joint. In case oh. you couldn't infer. And okay, Millie, you've been wasting you your own life. It's not great, right. Millie. It's no rasta pasta, but you know the. <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> Millie, if Parker were able to teleport you back in or fly you back in, would that be something that you would want to do, or do you want to stay on the monster? I, you know, I would go in. I think. Okay. I I tell the monster before we go. I say, "Hey, I'm gonna be just right inside the window. You'll be able to see us. It'll be fine. But just stay there, okay? You're doing great." And as soon as you say "stay." Like its butt lands on the ground, and it it's just a big incredible. cave. Oh, <laughs> absolutely! It's like a yeah. crater now. Enormous. Yeah. You can uh -huh. see like the shock waves spreading out around awesome. it. Awesome. It's adorable though. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and um, Parker just like bamps you back in, right next to Rena, because Moth Person sex move is it can make. Someone luminous whenever it has sex with them. So <laughs> there you go. She's oh. insult to injury right there. What? Right. <laughs> oh, geez. Hey, you flew thanks. away in the middle of the fight, and it now worked. you're positively glowing. How it, lovely. It worked. It I'm glowing. World, though. Yeah. <laughs> it helped save the world. Yeah. So what the hell is that? Well, Par 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 Parker and I, we just hexed the big thing. What, what else do I need to do? Who else do I need to hex? I think Ladrick took care of everyone else. I think we're just watching the sorcerer battle now. Yeah, I think it's like a metaphor for something. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I think you're <laughs> right about that. I think it might might be capitalism. I'm not sure, though. Well, you did miss Mr. Keith turning into a bunch of other people who also were giant rich douchebags. Got it. What who does he look like now? Yeah, oh, he's one of the guys from the Shark Tank. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's canon. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's Mr. What? Guys, oh, guys, hold on. What are rich people most afraid of? Poor people. The pores. Okay. <laughs> so I can make visions. Mm -hmm. Yes, do it. <laughs> Why do you need to make visions? I'm not of poor afraid people. of you, poor people. Show them like a picture of like an are they, college are they students not? right here. You all they are poor are people, so. though. We're, I was going to say, students. what if, what if I were to They're make not... like, a, like a proletariat of people? Oh, a I union. know, a union. Yeah, a union, or like yeah, a, I guess like organized... a happy commune of people, yeah. like or, free trade, or organized yeah. front. Or hear me uh, out. Lack of control if you really get down to it, but I don't you really could, know how you can visualize that. You could you could uh, <laughs> make like a vision of the burnouts unionizing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, sure. or like visible hand signed. controlling the marketplace. So I am going to do that hex, trying to make a vision of a proletariat unionizing. Nice. To rise up against their capitalist overlords, and I am going to throw Pikmin's tooth. And no! even though, and even though it's not technically again, you know, a Monster Hearts thing, I really liked the mechanic last night of roll three and take the higher two. So we're oh. gonna do that. Okay, oh, that is a good mechanic. I like that's that. not right? inspiration, yeah. but it. Uh, well, that yeah. that means that I get to toss that one away, and I get again a fourteen. God damn. Nice, nice. Yeah, tell me what this looks like. What this hex? Okay, so appears all like the... to uh, photo Toby Keith, whoever. Yeah. So again, 
she kind of mumbled mumble jumbos. She's got some some flashy eyes, but then you just see like one one burnout like with a sign and getting signatures, and then they all start to like you see them all putting their ballots in a box. <laughs> They've got placards all of a sudden. They're marching it's, in a circle. It's <laughs> unionizing their boy democracy in action. I mean, that it's the entire <laughs> process of uni unionizing. Yeah. 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 They have to vote to form a union, Rick. Exactly. They but, do. But that's the thing. Like, it's a secret vote. That's the, it's a secret yeah. ballot. But it's it's two things that terrify rich people: democracy, exactly. <laughs> and yeah, like community, <laughs> and yes. Yeah. So you actually it's like it's nice. like a like a montage yeah like, oh yeah uh where you see like Lord, you I'm see them montage. making drafting articles of the union and then they're putting it together and they're submitting their paperwork for their demands to the management and and then they say we're going on strike because they don't and and you you gave me some inspiration there because you <laughs> rolled so well and because you said this is a montage there's absolutely like the synth drums and like full on 80s synthesizer. Like it is a power montage. Yeah. 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 And it's all the burnouts all working together, all together in their communities and doing mutual aid to support each other during the strike. And it's really beautiful. And it's nice. And, and the synth music fades out and Florence and the machine singing, you've got the love fades in. As, as the <laughs> <laughs> and because again, this was a very powerful, powerful hex that you rolled up. Nice job, uh, actually, it was, it was normally... dog days are over. Not oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, I think they've just begun. Really. <laughs> well, I guess you better run. Yeah. So normally, it would just affect kind of like one or two people. The burnout seem to see this hex as well, and they're like. Really good idea. We look really cool doing that. Like, <laughs> we should do. We should do that. Where did Which, all these other uses come from? Yeah, yeah. they had. It is a hive mind, so like, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to convince yeah. them. But so is Toby, whomever distracted by all of this. Is that what's going? Or Toby that, Richards. Yeah, yeah Toby, yeah, Richards, Toby yeah. Richards. He was the one that was the target of the hex, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> the initial uh, target. Yeah, Keith Musk. That, that uh, is the hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah Keith Musk. <laughs> Elon yeah. Gates, whatever we want to call him. Yeah. It's pretty good actually. <laughs> for this game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jeff Gates. Yeah. Bill uh, Bezos. Yeah, Bill Bezos is Bill great. Bezos. <laughs> All of those guys, an amalgamation of white men. Yeah. It's it, it basically looks all the same. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this is enough that Dolly seemed like she was holding her own, but it was a fairly close battle. But she is able to get him prone and looms large over him as she is a very powerful person in general and an intimidating figure in all of the best ways. And she just asks him what, what he was planning on doing, like what the point of all of this was. And obviously, you know, he has the very classic villain motive of controlling the world, but he does explain that, his goal was to strip all of the monsters of their power to make his monster more powerful. But he hadn't quite gotten there yet. They hadn't quite worked out all the details, but they got the monster. Except it's so little dumb. It's also very cute. It yeah. is very cute. That's the important detail. Right. And, and Dolly, if you can take care of Cracker Jack, you could probably take care of Goldie out here. I mean, Goldzilla. I just, I don't, I don't feel like Goldie would be, I mean, if anybody could be responsible with Goldie, it would be you. It's true. Also, I know they allow service animals, animals on campus. Yeah. But I don't think this one's going to get approved. That mm -hmm. service kind of is usually, yeah. it's, 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 it's be usually yeah. Work. It's usually service. Yes, emotional support is a that's an iffy yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you can if you can get Goldie registered, nice difference. <laughs> How it's gonna fit in the dorms? That's not my problem. Yeah, that's 
maybe slightly outside of the reasonable accommodation rule. Yeah. All I'm saying is we might need a slightly larger dorm. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Just for it. <laughs> we'll make it work. We'll yeah. drop one giant coin off the dog blob and it will pay <laughs> for a new building. <laughs> <laughs> and Millie, mm-hmm. Dolly turns to you and says, well, what should we do with this person? I got an idea. Are we talking about are we talking about the Bill Bezos? The, the Bill Bezos. I know I'm supposed to have grown, but there is an expression that I've heard. And I think Pikmin should eat the rich. Yeah. I'm nom, 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 nom. <laughs> and Pikman's like, did you, did you say Pikman? <laughs> I think you said Pigman. I mean, Honestly, I'll, pigs I'll, eat human meat. I'll split it with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah like 60 40. Good way to get rid of a body after, you know, <laughs> so you might have been on the ground. for some reason. I mean, right. Grandma, I don't, I don't know <laughs> if you feel like that's appropriate here, but, you know, you are in charge. I just, that's one th- thing I thought, maybe. Maybe. You know, you do seem like you've grown as a person, you know. And uh, I think in this this situation, it's acceptable. Nice. And besides, I heard him bragging about eating two of your employees, so it's probably best. I think that was if we just take care of him. Uh, that's what that's what I heard him say. It was like, yeah, take those two kids too, America. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Del puts like a boot on his neck. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get down on him. Not on him. Well, down next to him. Um, <laughs> Maybe on him. Uh, down next to him. <laughs> on him and him. Puts his mouth right against Toby's ear. I was like, where is this going? And he I'm starts, afraid the stream's about to get... <laughs> he starts whispering to him quietly. And only Toby can hear, but his eyes get wider and wider. And I'm, I'm actually using a move I've got called ending, where I remember every detail of my death. And I can, if I tell it to somebody, they get the morbid condition. And then I can also roll to turn them on with... Uh, I was gonna cold. say, I yeah. think probably someone aroused. Yeah, but. yeah. So I can I can roll to see if I can turn him on, Absolutely. and then I'll eat him because I'm also I also feed on lust now since I leveled up. So yeah, yeah. nice, mm-hmm. yeah. So, it's so uh, sword, right? you yeah. use your yeah. death story to turn people on? Yeah, that's one of my powers. Yeah. I mean, wow. you died death three story. How did I mean, you yeah, die? Fair, fair. I must his, know his death mm-hmm. story. Was How do you warning. know? But you must tell me <laughs> what is the story. Oh, that died while having sex. Well, I'm asking. Okay, there's Pikmin. more to it than that, though. Pikmin, come on. How do you uh, tell your sexy death story in a way that turns me on? Can I eat the <laughs> Turn me singer? on, Pikmin. Can I eat the country <laughs> singer first? <laughs> I'll buy you a drink afterwards. I'll come get on. to you in a minute, all right? <laughs> hey, he's not just a country singer, he's all of the <laughs> shit people. Right, yeah. Ladrick is already aroused. <laughs> <laughs> just Pikmin hasn't English. even started. <laughs> right, yes. It's just all of the emotional edging. For the <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. That would be with my... I get to use cold, which is good, because that's what I have. And that would be an eight. Oh, okay. That's not great, but... It'll, because it'll... people kept interrupting me while I was trying to tell them my sexy, scary oh, story. Yeah, that's what it was. But... Pigman was eating 60%. So that's maybe true. Pigman, Pigman gets already to roll. started gnawing. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. You know what? That's all oh, oh, wow, that. Cool. <laughs> Pigman got an 11. Nice. Yeah. So thanks, Elena. <laughs> Again, he's with that. <laughs> so not only are, is he being eaten alive, but he's being tur- he's turned on by it as he's being eaten alive. <laughs> yeah. Don't kink shame. He's a cannibalism kink. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't kink shame. <laughs> And I also don't I, I'm, I'm not kink shame, and I'm just saying that's what the situation is. Also, don't kink shame Laderick for being into it, possibly too, or at least the story. <laughs> you, I mean, you, you, I you just want to know what it is. I don't know if I'm into it. And lust is not turned on by it as well. Well, I mean, well, <laughs> Pikmin stands up and he like rubs a smear of blood and viscera off his face and all over his shirt, and then he just grabs Laderick by the lapels. And just shoves him into a closet, and the door closes behind him. <laughs> oh, finally! <laughs> God, this is funny the voucher I signed up for. 
And like the undead will rise tonight. <laughs> and like ten seconds later, Pigman just like sticks his yeah, head and is like trying. Was this a, a Pigman Pigman thing? <laughs> We're already gone. I don't know if you were paying attention. We're in a closet. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, the pigman's put his head in the closet. Pigman sticks his head yeah. in. Yeah. Pig, yeah. No, he's invited. Yeah. Oh. He is asking if it's... Close the door. Get... <laughs> has chosen. Sorry. Closes he's chosen his pigman. <laughs> Catches, like, the end of its snout a little bit. Oh. <laughs> One pigman is enough. <laughs> Amazing. So, as you all have defeated the BBEG and its pet dog, Is let's get to. <laughs> and by we, I mean Somehow. Millie and <laughs> and Pikmin and Pigman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he was and already the... down. I just ate the rich guy. That's all. <laughs> yeah. He was already eating the rich yeah. is an important step. So it's a big step. Yeah, and then yeah, you took yeah. care of the uh, BBEG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning Lee. Yeah. Right. <laughs> BBEG was Wait, like what? the whole time. <laughs> so let's get to our epilogue here. Let's start with Laderick. Where does Laderick go after defeating capitalism? Well, I mean, it was quite a lofty goal, but, you know, when you live long enough, I guess you can achieve anything. Laderick decided that the states were a bit too chaotic for him and didn't really like anything that was going on with <laughs> Dolly Parton or strange laboratories capturing him and torturing him. So he decided to move back overseas and... To a much nicer place. He moved to France. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a nice place. It's debatably it's nicer. Like it's like like <laughs> Some small town in France, uh, up in up in the uh, farmlands, where nobody would question him too much in living in a small cottage on his own, and. That Luckily, is where Laderick is going. Luckily, they've never had to take over the rich in France. <laughs> Thank you. you know, you can't Multiple stay times. in France for too long. Every couple decades, they get uppity and you have to move around. But it's a lovely vacation home. <laughs> Why don't you tell me where Pikmin and Pigman go? Because Pigman is like halfway attached at the hip at this point. Oh, I can't get rid of him now. All right. Yeah. I mean, you can, but like, he'd be really sad. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. <laughs> you know what you have to do. He's the only one who understands. Well, yeah, eventually I'll eat him too. It's like He's an Ouroboros. So you just eat each other. <laughs> yeah. I, Pikmin will first of all start by ransacking as much anything that looks valuable out of the the, the helicarrier, obviously. <laughs> and I'm going to say he goes ahead and finds another van with a wizard on it just because <laughs> that seems to be the, the standard. Oh, there's there's a lot of them. There's There's a whole fleet of them. <laughs> He and Pigman hit the road as, like, they walk the earth righting wrongs in different towns, kind of like uh, the Incredible Hulk, you know, going from town to town, always on the run from from the scientists and the <laughs> law, but they eat the bad guys that they find. Right. Of course. Vigilante justice. It's vigilante yeah, yeah. justice, yeah, yeah. And he does that for, like, they do that for, like, two or three weeks, and they get kind of bored with it. <laughs> Ditch the van and... And head on back to Colorado because that's where the good weed is. <laughs> also, Pigman pointed out that like bad guys don't taste as good for some reason. Mm -hmm. It's not the right kind of fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pig yeah. Pigman has 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 outgrown his his hunger for fear. It's it's he's got the weird sex thing mixed up with it now. So it's it all in the lust now. Makes it a little complicated sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's okay if you kink shame yourself saying it's weird. right. Right. <laughs> I mean, which sometimes goes with fear, but you know. I mean, that's his sex move when you have sex with someone create a new hunger like that's that's the move there's no move to have sex it's you do it you're hungry for something else now it's like oh okay great <laughs> wow does it amazing replace or... but anyway <laughs> yeah. rena tell us about where you go after murdering this person Good yeah day. rena is going to go back to school for a while but then she's pretty like disenfranchised with it so she's gonna end up going back home to west virginia but like taking over the pack Peace. because she thinks that her father is no longer in touch with the youths 
So she's gonna take the over youths. and yeah, the youth. And... What does that What does that look like for for Rena? Like, is she killing her dad? Is no, that... we have to have like a first blood battle. So she obviously wins because she's obviously better. Yeah, and obviously. <laughs> obviously. <Jake> and... <laughs> And generously lets him stay in the pack. So not die. Ooh. You don't send him to France? Send him on a vacation to France in China. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's Sorry. almost like an American werewolf in Paris. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> did not even make that connection. But they, that's amazing. <laughs> and, and that's about it. Yeah. And they're okay with non-werewolves. Right, right, right. You, you can now, like, uh, marry outside of their werewolf kind. It's just going to create some real weird kids. So it's like, in order for a better world to come about, we have to wait for the old people to die off? Is that kind of where we're... No, we have to depose them. them Or we have to depose them. Okay. Yeah, we have to depose them. Or you just beat them up and send them to France. That works. (laughs) Right, right, yeah. (laughs) And (laughs) you know what? Now you have to go wait in line at the Eiffel Tower. Good job. I did. I did catch that, Jason. We. What, what do we young people do? Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. All right, Millie. What do Millie and Parker do? Well, so first thing, can I t- can I say something about what happened at the school in our absence? Sure. Because this is going to fill in. We are going to skip forward a few months in a little bit and do a another one shot for February sometime. But a certain video of a werewolf mascot carrying a girl yelling, I consent, went viral on the TikToks. Very and important TikTok. that you say the TikToks. Yes. <laughs> that. Yeah. The TikTok. Garden Grove University has become somewhat infamous The university denies it. They were already planning to change their mascot to a werewolf and that they were just trying to encourage safer sex communication on campus. However, people who were in the monster community realized that there were monsters on campus. And by springtime, enrollment goes way up. And Millie goes back to university. And first of all, she apologizes to Rena and says, there were a lot of things I did wrong, but I should never have promised what I knew I couldn't give you. Rena accepts Millie's apology. They can stay in touch as friends. I love the idea that that's how Rena responds out loud. Like, you don't, yes. you don't say I accept your apology. Nope. Rena no, Rena accepts. Rena, accepts. Rena, accepts. Rena accepts. speaks in the third person. Actually, I don't never told you that, but no, <laughs> I accept. I'm really good at role play. Yeah, she she does now that she's like planning on taking over the pack. Obviously, yeah, right. The yeah. royal we, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The royal we. We accept your olive branch of friendship. Okay, I'm yeah. Sorry for hurting you. I I wish I had done better. And I wish that I had seen the that you needed something different. I'm glad you found it now. And then Millie go. Millie asks Parker if they want to go to school, like if they're interested in coming to school and hanging out. And while Millie, no, I'm. I know I'm not in a position to be a monogamous person at this point in my life i care about you a lot and i do not ever want to hurt you the way i hurt rena or other people and so i would really like if you wanted to come with me also just to come a lot (laughs) with me i I think we've already been coming a lot but that that does sound like fun. All of it. Okay. How's yeah. the how's the music scene in Colorado? I really feel like they need more musicians there. Let me tell you about a little band called Rusted Root. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> oh no. Parker Parker's obviously a fan. I mean, he yeah. knows Rusted Root already. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They they play at Mishawaka every year. 
So we go back and Millie is going to go back to school and work on hopefully figuring out the situation with hers and Pikmin's souls and also finishing college and maybe exploring some other degree options besides finance. We'll see. And some other relationship options besides monogamy. Yeah. No, she wants to be with Parker, but yeah. she can't. You know, she doesn't. That's to. not a, a point. She's not at a point in her life where yeah. that is a possibility. There's, yeah. I mean, Parker, like when you when you talk about like the potential for other people, they're just like, I mean, if I if I get the band back together, I can't control. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's do that. Yeah. I mean, also, if we want to do people together, I'm also cool with that. Like, I'm cool with a lot of stuff. So, I would suggest you don't go for that, Parker, just given the, the history. I mean, they, that they've already been out. there once. <laughs> <laughs> it went very well. <laughs> for a while. For no seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Lauderick um, just turns to Pikmin and is just like, you didn't, like, not with no, her, well, right? No, no, no. Oh, not. okay. Good, 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 good. Nobody else. Never mind yeah, then. Not even okay. once? We're good, we're good. With the two right, of them. Okay. Okay. Last time I hooked up with that one, I ended up dead. So, you know, I'm kind of kind of over it. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Fair. Are you like traumatized by threesomes now? <laughs> wow. Is that like your trauma point? Are you also? <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Rena will never do that again. Rena is somehow more monogamous than right. Richard, yeah. But... <laughs> no, just Pikmin, just specifically threesomes with Millie. That's that's. <laughs> <laughs> Not three seasons with cheerleaders. Cheerleaders yeah, are fine. Yeah. Cheerleaders <laughs> are fine. Clearly, Millie was the issue. <laughs> Millie was the connecting well, tissue on that one. Yeah, yeah. You just, yeah. <laughs> no offense to her. She's a good friend. <laughs> Not even really that, even. But. <laughs> Does Leonard just get in touch with anyone? <laughs> uh, Pikmin, apparently. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm like her familiar, but I'm not sure. How that relationship actually like works Millie's? out? Yeah, that I'm that he's Millie's yeah. familiar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're familiar, but I think I'm also a familiar now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. That that tracks. That tracks. Yeah. But Millie oh, is it, Millie is working on the the souls and and keeps in correspondence with Grandma pretty frequently as they talk about hell dimensions and deals with devils and whatnot yeah and i think dolly's epilogue here is that now that you know you have tamed this giant beast of capitalism as a metaphor she is able to use the money generated from it you know to obviously donate to all kinds of good causes because she already gives a shit ton of money now that she has even more money to give she can do even more with it and maybe eventually sometime down the road she gains world power for herself to do good things. Who knows? That's for a future story. (laughs) For for a future story. (laughs) I I hate to see the huge power vacuum after we've, you know, pretty much eaten every CEO of every major Fortune 500 company all at once. That's going to be be an issue. The burnouts (laughs) went out into the world to unionize. Yeah. They could be the CEOs. (laughs) Yeah. We just need a good structure. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone out into the world to also eat the rich. That's the lesson they learned. Yeah, that's yes. That's what Thea learned. <laughs> yeah. Thea, Thea, even though we didn't get Rim's description of what Thea does, I just imagine that mm. she's like leading the burnout army to eat. Mm. That works. That works. <laughs> <laughs> Guy probably just tags along because, yeah. You know, what else is he gonna do? Kind of like He's like, well, I was free this weekend, so totally. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And like every weekend, right, yeah. it's kind of probably hard to go to college as a werewolf who like doesn't know how to do the werewolf thing, because you know he didn't take lessons or anything. He just like went and had sex with Bigfoot and, and got kidnapped, and <laughs> everything's fine. True. There's no True. Problem. Like, I was like, let me introduce you to the pack so you can learn stuff. And he's like, I'm gonna play with some kids, and then I'm gonna go out. <laughs> Bye. There was a Bigfoot. He got distracted. Oops. It happens. I get it. <laughs> what happens in West Virginia? Does not stay in West Virginia. I mean, from what I understand, getting kidnapped and banging Bigfoot basically is the training, right? I mean, that that seems to be 
Yeah. Rite of passage. Right, exactly. It's all part of it. That's yeah. Werewolf 201. You're in the wrong <laughs> class. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to fade out on this. Some Dolly Parton thinking like light of a clear blue morning. Oh, that's a good one. Background. That's a good one. Yeah. 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 Rainbow in the sky over mm-hmm. color. I like that. Yeah. Conveniently. Thank you, Rick, for running this one shot. We really- Thank you, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Thank you for running this nine episode one, one shot. shot. Yeah. 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 Billy, will, uh, Billy, will Aaron, will the next uh, one shot be a similar type of one shot? Of eight uh, to ten episodes? <laughs> no, it'll be, it'll be one episode. Okay. Right. Just, right. Might sure. be longer. That's of what course. they all say. Aaron, we finished another season of the Even Footing Games Presents. What's our next season? What are we playing next? Oh, well, we're actually going to be taking a little bit of a break. We may be putting up some one shots for the next couple of weeks that we've been playing. However, our next season is going to be Thirsty Sword Lesbians. Ooh. And that is going to be GM'd by Keisha of the Ooh. Potions and Potpourri podcast. Our first guest Whoa. GM from One outside of the, the company. Pals? One oh, of the gal man. pals and not even the what? one that we have tricked into being with us. So it's the <laughs> other gal Wait, pal. The other gal totally pal. Never. Kayla. We didn't say like, hey, do you want to do this thing? Because you're going to do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 we tricked Kayla into friendship, so now we have to trick Keisha into friendship too. So, yeah. Exactly. However, we are going to be taking little breaks between seasons so that I am not insane. <laughs> Where else can folks look then if they want to get more even footing games in their lives? Oh. You know, if you really wanted the full Even Footing Games Mm -hmm. experience, you would find our link tree and get a Discord invite where we run one shots of all systems that are not D&D. Sorry, Lee. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> not i'm not a simp for D. I just like the game <laughs> Christ. I'm getting crucified over here for liking a game you <laughs> like D. you don't know what friendlies is like i don't even know you okay? <laughs> on an unrelated note i'm just though, a uh, big for... loser <laughs> For a few more weeks, we're still raising money for Doctors Without Borders, oh, yeah. uh, if you're watching. Uh, for those of you that can see a screen right now, there's And if you on there. would be so kind as to either share or give, please tell them that the green team is the team that sent you because the green team is what Rick and I are. And we want those red team people to go down. Yeah, but this is a great charity. We'll get money regardless of which team they. Right, you I was gonna say the biggest thing about charity to, right? is the competition. Yeah. it's it's about it's, it's doctors a that way to in artificially yeah, yeah. inflate the donations because yes. people yeah. will both both is good. 